Hey guys, I'm just Joshin and welcome to another channel update video. Apologies, hold on. Look, if he's gonna show up, he's gotta be in the video. I'm not doing this just for clicks. My son has showed up, he has brought me a treat as a reward. Hi buddy, how are you doing? He just wants to be in the video, I think. Or maybe to lick the inside of my mouth. That one's kind of a grosser option. I'd rather you just want to be in the video, buddy. How about that? You tired? He just woke up from a nap. All right, buddy, now that I've used you for clickbait purposes, uh, here's your treat. Go enjoy. Hello, guys, welcome. It's the end of May. <laughs> Still trying to stick to my one update video a month just to keep you guys informed. Did I get one out in April? It might have been like April 1st if I did. It was early. Uh, this one's end of May, so it's been a little bit, so I thought I'd let you guys know uh, what's going on. There's some big changes upcoming, semi-big changes upcoming, um, as well as a new... Mm, I don't know if system's the right word. Something new I'm trying to implement uh, to help us uh, maybe help grow a little bit over on Twitch. I'll get into those in a second. Let's talk about the YouTube channel first. Because it's not that it's less... We're doing less over here. We got the Soul Link going. Gold and Silver right in my Soul Link with our good buddy Potter. That's going very well. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the most recent episode, which is on... That's a piece of paper, Banjo. You cannot consume paper. He, he tried his darndest. He can't consume this. I mean, he might be able to. I have no idea. People eat paper, right? Also, can we talk about how khakied up I am right now? Let's maybe not do that. Um, hello, Banjo. You're losing your dang mind. Uh, <laughs> what are we talking about? YouTube channel. Take your treat. That's going very well. If you haven't seen the last episode, it's on Todd's channel. Go check it out. We took on the final couple members of Elite Four. If you do not want spoilers, I'm about to spoil it. So prepare yourselves, three, two, one, spoilers incoming. We did defeat the Elite Four and the Champion, and we are currently on our way to Kanto. Uh, we're gonna do all the Kanto stuff, and we're hopefully going to be successful, and we're gonna end the game by taking on uh, Red at the very end. That's the final goal, now now we're doing post game. So I would say probably, Kanto goes pretty quick, maybe 10 to 15 more episodes of that, uh, of that series, which will be maybe like a month or two more of content. Uh, and then that will be up. Uh, do we have plans to do another Soul Link in the future? Maybe. We took a little bit of a break between the red and blue one and the gold and silver one, so I'd, I'd imagine we'll probably do something similar again. Um, but at least short term, I think it's likely. Uh, I, I am speaking for Totter, of course. Uh, we'll have to sit down and discuss it ourselves, but I always have a really good time doing them, so I think we'll probably do them in the future. But it'll probably be, it'll probably take um, a couple months at least. Uh, a little break just to get ready for the next one. Get graphics and stuff made, you know. In the meantime, I do think uh, the the extra time that I will not spend, not be spending recording that series, getting it uploaded and stuff, I will hopefully be able to devote to some more stuff over on YouTube. Uh, we obviously had Poke March Madness over the course of March. Since then, haven't really done anything similar. I'd like to do maybe not similar caliber videos because those were an hour long and that's way too long. Um, but maybe some more short form content stuff in the future. Maybe freeing up this extra time will allow me to do that because I do really do, I really do really still want to do stuff over here on YouTube. Um, I also have a potential idea uh, for another potential series. Uh, following the Soul Link, it would be Pokemon related. I like to do the Nuzlocke stuff on the channel, typically. I like to do it here, um, because I feel like it's a little nicer when you got the layout, the nice edits, the grinding montages. It's a better package over here than on Twitch. And also my Twitch audience doesn't super love Pokemon from what I know. Um, so I don't think it makes a lot of sense to, to do it over there. So if I do more Pokemon stuff, it will probably be here. I have a potential idea for a series. I'm not going to say what it is yet because I'm still mulling it over. But that may happen once um, once the gold and silver stuff wraps up. But other than that, YouTube, it's, it's going. It's weird. I've put so little focus on the YouTube channel this year. And it's grown more than it has in like the last two years. We're up to like 400 and... 22, 21 something subscribers, which is crazy. Cause again, other than the, the Soul Link and Pokemon March Madness, haven't really done a whole bunch bunch this year. Whereas I used to be uploading, you know, not daily, but near daily and seeing almost nothing. So I don't know what changed. Um, maybe people from Twitch are finding me and then they're finding me on Twitch and then coming over and being like, oh, he's got a YouTube too. I don't know, but it's cool. I'm having a really good time. And thanks to everybody who's, uh, who's joined on in the last couple of months. 
it's nice to have you here and I hope to have some more wonderful content for you coming up. Speaking of wonderful content, let's go over to Twitch. Uh, Twitch stuff is going pretty good. As you guys know, my goal hit partner by the end of the year. Is it going to happen? Hey, it was looking good for a little bit, but now uh, it's up in the air a little bit. Um, okay, before I get into that, before we get into the partner stuff, I am going to be introducing a new concept probably in about a month or so uh, to maybe help this last half of the month. I want to hit it. I, I, we, if we want to hit partner, we're going to have to step it up a little bit. I'm going to have to step it up a little bit personally. So I'm going to be introducing some things to, to maybe help along with that. I'll talk about that in a second. In terms of what we're playing, um, right now we're still playing Red Dead Redemption on Saturdays. I'm having a good time with it. Oh, that's okay. Uh, never mind. I thought Banjo, hold on. Let me close my door very quickly. I thought Banjo had, um, had grabbed some keys off of somewhere. I don't know how he would have gotten them, but I'm good. I'm good. Maria just got home, which is totally fine. Um, we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a really, really good game, and I'm having a lot of fun personally, and I think chat's having a good time too, but I don't know. Something weird. I like playing story games, but I don't know if they make the most sense on the channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you're, if you're a Twitch viewer over there, um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. We've tried a couple different story-based games, especially ones with voice acting. I feel, I, I like to just, I talk. I talk a lot and I like to sometimes talk, if I talk over the dialogue, especially when it's got voice acting, I feel like I'm doing the game a disservice. Not only am I not paying attention, and I'm not paying attention to what the story is going on, but people who are watching that might want to know the story as well, I'm also making it harder for them to pay attention. On the flip side, if I shut my dang lips and I let the game talk, then I feel awkward because it's been like five seconds without saying. You ever seen the meme of the guy whose vein is popping out of his dang dome, dome piece? That's me when I haven't said a word on my Twitch channel in about 2.2 seconds. So if I go too long without saying anything, I feel awkward. Like there's an awkward sound, so I'm like, I gotta say something. And sometimes the dialogue's long. The other issue is it's a very long series. And at least at this point, uh, with Twitch only being part-time and only playing this game once a week, uh, it's probably gonna take like half the year to get a game done, which is not horrible if it's a, it's, if it's a fantastic game. Um, a big issue that I sometimes run into is when it's a story-based game like this, if someone misses the first couple of streams and then they don't know what's going on in the story, then why would they jump in have, yeah, they could go back and watch the VODs, but like, why would they jump in halfway through? They're pretty much out. Uh, whereas if you're getting through games a little bit quicker or playing stuff with less of a strong story, uh, it's easier for them to jump in even if they miss some stuff. So I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely, we're going to finish Red Dead Redemption 2. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but it has uh, given me second thoughts about um, doing really, really long games and, and also story-based games. I don't, at least super strong narrative-based games. I don't know if they make the most sense, uh, for at least my personal style, but may, I mean, I also could just be in my own head about this, so I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. Um, so yeah, we'll be playing Red Dead for a while, but after that, I might switch things up, and the Saturday stream games, I'd still like to have you guys vote on them, but I may do, um, some shorter stuff. Maybe... Uh, maybe the time to beat is is a, of like a Red Dead game or like a Dark Souls game. But I'd love to play Dark Souls 2 and 3 in the future. Maybe it's just a little too long for uh, how little I stream currently. I don't know. That may change in the future. Just what's going through my head right now. This is a chance for me to just vent a little bit. And also you can be like, you're silly. I love Red Dead. Keep playing long games like that. I don't care if it takes six months. You let me know. Um, speaking of things taking six months... Um, I've talked about this on the Twitch channel, I haven't talked about it over here yet, so just in case you haven't seen it, uh, the Just Finishing series is going to be coming to an end. Uh, originally the plan was to, I had this long list of games I never beat as a kid, and over the course of 2020, I was going to beat them all. By the end of the year, by December, congratulations, you've officially beaten every Just Finishing game on the list, fantastic, congratulations. Um, you know, it started off pretty strong, we had, uh, we had some good games on there, some games that didn't make me want to rip my dang hair out. Some funny meme games that were maybe not the greatest, but were at least fun. Uh, we've now hit a point <laughs> where some of the good games, most of the good games are no longer on the list. And we're uh, unfortunately not scraping the bottom of the barrel. There's still some decent games on there, 
but it's definitely more of a, a hassle and a slog trying to pick out what games to play and also trying to get them done. Um, I was talking to some friends the other day, just having like a casual gaming session, and they were talking about, uh, it was, it was uh, Joji who's in chat quite often and our good buddy Defender who has his own Twitch channel, you should check him out. Uh, we were talking about how Defender mostly just plays games he wants to play and things he likes because he knows he's going to have a good time and it's just a better chemistry overall and I was a little jealous of that. Not that I've been, you know, masochistically torturing myself with some of these horrible pre-1999 video games, but to some degree I have and uh, I don't want it to ever seem like I'm having, a, I a, don't want to have a horrible time playing stuff, unless you're having a good time, but I also don't want you to be like, he's absolutely miserable right now, this is a little uncomfortable. Um, all that to say, the series is coming to an end a little bit short. Uh, we got a lot of the games on the list done, there's still many that need to be done, maybe we'll do them in the future, uh, outside of just finishing. Um, the only game for sure, this, uh, starting in June, the very first Thursday of June, we're gonna start Punch-Out. Uh, Punch-Out was like the, one of the main games I wanted to beat, and I think it may take the entire month of June to do so. That's a game I do not care how long it takes. The feeling of finally beating that one, no cheats, no save states, is going to feel really, really good. So that's like the ultimate, that's like the, the golden unicorn, if you will, of that series. That's gonna be the finale. Um... Once that's done, Thursday slot will be open, uh, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Would love some suge some suggestions. Right now, the Tuesday slot's kind of that awkward revolving. Uh, we do Steam Roulette once a month, but other than that, it's like whatever I'm kind of feeling I'm playing. Um, we could either double that up. We could have two of those a week. That's on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. Uh, but I already sometimes have trouble figuring out what to play on Tuesday, so it might be even harder adding a second day on Thursday to try to figure out what to play. Uh, we could double up the Saturday stream game and play that on t Thursdays and Saturdays. That way we get through it a little bit quicker, like Red Dead Redemption, so it'll only take three months instead of six months. The only problem with that is that uh, I know there's a big time difference. I stream at noons on Saturdays, 6 p.m. on Thursdays, which makes it very difficult. I'm in the USA, makes it really difficult on Thursdays for some EU viewers to get there. So again, they might just not watch the series at all. Well, I can't watch the Thursday stream, so I'm not gonna know what's happening on the Saturday stream, so I just won't watch it all. Um, it's a little bit of a tough line to, what do you call it, tightrope to walk there. Um, the other option would be just adding a new series. We could be doing a long playthrough on Saturdays, that's our Red Dead Redemption, and maybe on Thursdays, I pick another game I'm interested in that's a little bit shorter that we can cycle through a little bit faster. So it's a single playthrough that we're constantly working on. So Tuesday would be variety. Thursday would be a short playthrough game, like maybe a month, couple weeks, two months tops. And Saturday can be a long going series. I don't know. Again, thoughts. Leave them down below. Um, mostly part of, part of the just finish and leaving, like I said, is to um, not have to play so many horrible games anymore. That's part of it for sure. But also, like I said, I still really want to hit partner by the end of the year. Things have slowed a little bit. And uh, Albert Einstein once said, to paraphrase, doing the same doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. Something like that. You can Google it. I'm sure you'll get the real quote. Um, not that the just finishing streams are not great for growth. We've met some fantastic people in the community that have stuck around in the community because of games like that. However, that was mostly early on when I was playing good, well-recognized games like that. Now that we're scraping more to the bottom of the barrel, they're less fun to watch in my opinion, and there's less people that are uh, interested in these games potentially hopping in. Um, so if I want to if I really truly want hit partner by the end of the year and I do, I gotta try to switch something up. This is one possible way to do so. Another thing I'm going to be implementing, once the Just Finishing series end, ends, mostly because it's probably gonna take me a month to get these set in stone, is to come up with some uh, Twitch milestone goal rewards, whatever you wanna call them. A lot of people do them, sub goals, follow goals. Um, Things to, to give back to your community uh, for reaching certain milestones on the channel. Um, 
I don't want to do sub goals because that's there's a monetary aspect associated with that and I do not want to ask for money. Um, I was think follow goal is a is a potential. We could definitely do follow goals. It's certainly easier to um, to in, to uh, what's the word? Put a number two if you want to say because you can easily see the number of followers and every time someone follows it goes up by one. It's very easy to calculate. It's calculable. There we go. Um, and it's easy to track because of that. Um, unfortunately, the thing that leads to partner and the, the milestone that I was thinking about maybe going for is average stream viewers. So on average, ac across all of your streams, I don't know if it's of all time or if it takes like a recent sample, you have to average a certain amount of viewers per stream to hit partner. Specifically to hit partner, you have to have an average of 75 viewers per stream. We are currently in an average of around 10 viewers per stream, which is great because at the beginning of the year, I started at about five viewers per stream. So we have doubled it in a couple of months. Um, I would like to continue double it, doubling it going forward. Again, the thing that's a little hard about, tough about that is it's difficult to track because it's an average. So even if we get a stream that's got like 30 viewers, that may only raise the average by like one point. You need consistency. So it's a little bit tougher to encourage, but it's the, also the goal you need to hit Twitch Partner. So it's kind of the thing you should be measuring on, but it's also hard to measure. So it's a little confusing. So again, this is why this isn't gonna happen until June. I'm not 100% sure if the milestones are going to be follower based or average viewer based. I'm picking that out. But every interval, say every 50 followers or every five average viewers or whatever makes sense, I'm going to be giving you guys some sort of reward, something you guys have been asking for, uh, either to see me in pain or something we can all enjoy together um, that would be uh, universally fun for all parties involved. Well, maybe not super fun for me, but uh, at least not horrible for me. So I'm here asking you guys for some ideas. If you have any things you'd like to see me do, things I've said in the past I would never do that you'd like to see me do on the channel, uh, that would be very helpful. Uh, I'll give you some examples right now of things people either that have come from my brain, uh, that have come from Maria's brain, or that have uh, come from people in Twitch chat themselves as some potential ideas, and I would love to hear some more of them. Um, a common one has been for me to play some sort of rage game. Uh, a getting over it, or a jump king, or something along those lines where one tiny little mistake and you go falling all the way down to the beginning of the thing and you gotta do the whole thing over again. Extremely not fun for me personally, but probably a, a hoot and a hollering for the Twitch viewers. Uh, that has been requested. Uh, doing a Twitch, sing, Twitch Sings stream. I don't sing. I can't sing. I don't enjoy singing in front of other people. Um, this would basically force me to do the thing that I hate the most, which is singing in front of other people for your very own entertainment. That's an option on there. Um, playing a horror game of some sort. I also hate getting scared very much. Playing a horror game of some sort. Um, some sort of jump scary or, or um, what's a good one? What's a, maybe not jump scary, but like a psychological horror type game, like an Outlast or something. That's an option as well we had on there. Uh, <laughs> one of the ones we had, I personally came up with is called, I call it Dark Souls, which is playing a Dark Souls game, either maybe the first Dark Souls, but a randomized version or playing Dark Souls 3 blind for the first time. And every time I die, I have to do an exercise of some sort. Maybe it's 10 squats, 10 burpees, 10 pushups, wall sit for 10 seconds. Who knows? It could be many different things. Uh, but every death I get punished with an exercise of some sort until my arms and legs fall off. That could be interesting. Uh, one idea was for Maria to potentially uh, do my makeup on a stream. And then I have to do the full, she would come in, give me the blush, eyeliner, shadow, uh, foundation, lip, lip gloss, whatever else you do, contour, puff pad. Uh, doll me up and then do an entire stream in full makeup. Look, it's gonna live on the internet forever, but if it means getting a couple extra viewers, I'll do it. Oh, fantastic. Someone suggested shaving the beard down to a mustache and I have to keep the mustache for X number of, of streams before I can shave it off again. That's a possibility. Uh, 24 hour, 12 or 24 hour stream is a goal. It would probably be a little bit of a later goal because that's a lot of 
I gotta work up to that. I could barely stream four hours right now. But a 12 to 24 hour stream, that's a possibility as well. That could be a goal. Um, either shaving my head or dyeing my hair. You know, the stereotypical streamer, dye the top of your hair, some sort of bright fluorescent, basically any color that these lights can turn, do that. Um... I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll of course leading up to, if we hit partner, I will do a full playthrough of Subnautica, which is my worst fear. I am terrified of, of the ocean. I'm terrified of deep sea creatures. That's all of those combined into a single horrible, horrifying, hate it so much experience. Um, and that's like the ultimate, ultimate goal. If we can hit partner, I'll do that. Um, which makes me not really want to hit partner, but I do, which is why I'm instilling this. If you have any ideas for other potential viewership rewards, uh, please let me know. I will get those added. We'll probably take it. You're not supposed to add too many goals. Like if I create a timeline of like 80 goals, it gets a little ridiculous. You're supposed to take them in small chunks of like three to five goals. So I'll be back in June. Uh, probably towards the end of June is the just finishing series is wrapping up. Once I have this idea list more condensed, solid ideas, um, and how I want to measure them, I will break those out and you will know of the upcoming viewership goals. Um, with that, I think that's pretty much it. We got viewership goals. You know what's going on, on YouTube. You know what's going on, on Twitch. That's pretty much it. There's no reason else for you to stay. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it quite a bit. Tune in to twitch.tv slash justjoshyt Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Help us get that average viewer up, that average viewer count up so we can hit some of these goals. And I'll see you guys next time.